What's happening, guys? Oh, there's Pearl. What's going on, Pearl? You guys are eating? Oh, hello. Up close and personal, huh? Checking out the goat barn here, guys. The the mini... Oh, you got stuff on your face, silly. We got Fiona and her mom, Pearl. We haven't done a final of the goat house yet. The, the tiny house for goats. Sorry about my voice. I'm a little scraggly. Came back from Thanksgiving with a little... Uh, the old ears, nose, and throat. Believe it or not, people, there's still other things you can get sick of out there without having to take a 19 test. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> she is a cutie. So, anyway, this is our little tiny house for the goats. Um, some people didn't see this portion. I'll step back a little bit here. I'm just trying to test out the warmth in here, how warm it was getting, basically. Um, I, I bought a little... Uh, heater on these little panel heaters that you use for like a, a brooder or a heater for a chicken coop um i partitioned off a section of this little eight by eight tiny house for goats um we went ahead and insulated this has got i think some of you guys might have seen some of our videos we had arctic insulation plus the pink panther on this thing oh no 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 no, no. you can't eat can't eat the, can't eat the, the cord <laughs> so they will nibble on everything. And they actually unplug their heater like twice a night. So they're not very smart when it comes to that. But they are pretty cute and pretty uh, affectionate little animals. So anyhow, um, it's not the plan to have hay in here at all times. At least the piles of hay and alfalfa just overflowing all through the whole doorway. I had this stacked up nice and neat, but I didn't uh, take into consideration they would eat all that before the stuff in their actual feeders. But um, so yeah, coming into the 8x8 eight eight goat house basically i partitioned off that section i just picked up the part of the rail here for the actual uh rolling barn door which i will install i have a feeling a lot of times it's going to be open um we're going to go ahead and fence this little area off so they have a more of a dedicated spot here to where it'll be probably like 10 feet out here 10 feet out there 10 feet in front and we'll fence that off so at nighttime we can kind of corral them into their goat area and then they'll make their way into their little goat tiny house but uh, I partitioned this off on purpose to kind of give them a wind block, an area to kind of sleep back there. They weren't really taken to it too well. Um, I put this heater in here last couple of nights. It was getting in the 30s last week out here, so I felt kind of like they were probably freezing their butts off. So anyway, got this little chicken coop heater over at Tractor Supply. It's about 48 bucks. Um, I won't leave the wiring down like that. This is just a test run to see how much heat it produced. I'm out here in a t-shirt and some jeans right now. It's a pretty cold day and I was pretty toasty in this little area. So it kind of seems to provide some good heat in this little section right here. And like I said, it won't be a big old mess like this in the future. It will be hay on the ground here, hay throughout this thing, of course, but we'll stack this stuff outside under the under the overhang once I get that built. So, but for right now, this thing's keep, keeping it nice and clean, uh, nice and cool or nice and uh, warm. Uh, with this heater on and keeping them out of the, the rain and whatnot with the uh, the roof. It's all sealed. I've not finished it. I got a couple little air gaps I'll work on when we're done. Um, but yeah, I just want to show I did this partition in here. We did some interior siding uh, in here. It's not going to be finished yet. You can see all the screw holes. We use uh, you know fasteners on this. I'll dab all those. We'll paint it, make it look nice. We'll put some trim on this to make it a little bit prettier. But uh, yeah, it's the, goat, the, the tiny house for the goats. This is kind of the update. And that's a little uh, chicken coop, like I said, uh, brooder, I think they call that, or a, a or a chicken coop heater. Um, you can hang these by chains. You can hang it on the wall, and it comes with a stand as well. And it comes with a little thing to make a brooder where it has its own stands. It comes with the kit uh, for forty eight bucks. I don't know what kind of efficiency this thing's going to be uh, at as far as what kind of electrical output it takes. I didn't really read all the stats. Um, our little manufacturer home is electric only, so everything is on the electric bill. Um, we don't have any gas or anything like that here, but, um, so far we haven't had too many crazy months considering we're running the heater inside and the stove, oven, you know, the water heater. I don't think this is going to kill the bill. So anyhow, it's pretty warm in here. I'm surprised with a wide open door. This partition made a big difference. And like I said, they've been able to kind of coop up in here at nighttime and stay warm in the future. We'll have the hay on the ground, but this hay won't be stacked here. We'll have these two bundles with the alfalfa. I may make a tray up in here, like higher to put some stuff, but then I'm also going to make the overhang outside here on this side. Once I finish the overhang, come out and we'll fence in the back of this and it'll have an area where we can store things outside, but keep them out of the elements. So, but yeah, just a little update. So far, they seem to be digging it. Um, like I said, I just picked up the piece from Home Depot. We came back into town to make the rolling barn door. I haven't even picked up the material yet to build the door. Um, just gonna build a little 
rustic looking rough barn door style on a little roller. Like I said, most of the times it'll probably be wide open. So um, we are gonna do a window. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't frame that in yet. I was going to frame it in before I finished the interior on this side here. It'll be under the overhang, so I won't put a ton of light in, but it'll put some light in. But um, I wanted to keep it kind of secure right now since we're in the winter. Not really worry about getting uh, some light in there at this point in time, more or less just keeping the, the goats warm. So um, I'm sure goats live out in the elements with none of these devices. Um, I won't leave the cord obviously like that, just a test run. I'll run some conduit under the ground out here and just a little pop up to work and pull out a little cord and there's something simple. But uh, so far so good. So the goats seem to dig on it and uh, it's very warm in there. So um, like I said, we'll see how much that thing costs to run that thing. Uh, indefinitely during the colder days here whoa popping wheelies on me are you crazy are you crazy yeah they're they're pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool little pets uh, and they eat tons of weeds anyway guys so that's a little touch base on the goat barn goat tiny house goat palace whatever it may be that won't stay here i gotta clean that out had some diesel fuel leak inside that thing i bought it used i'm gonna clean that out rough it up paint it throw it in my workshop take the smaller nice clean one i have in there right now and put it inside one of my vans that we're camping in to be able to lock up stuff when we're out hiking and stuff like that inside the vans we have a mini version this is brand new the guy bought never used i got a killer deal on so this will go inside my workshop we'll actually have a patio coming off of this because the goats like to chill on our little patio so we're gonna make them their own patio it should be pretty nice but anyway we're under the weather over here so just coming out, do some a couple videos, get some fresh air, get out of the house, get out of being cooped up. And um, a little update on the goat palace. All right, Fiona, we'll talk to you later.